Hey, what's up? This is Rob from Panther, and today we're going to check it out how to make some blurry text effect in Photoshop. Step one, I'm going to recolor the background as black. Select the type tool, type in whatever you want. I'm going to press Ctrl T and I'm going to scale it up. By the way, the font is called Humane Medium. From here, press Ctrl J to duplicate the layer. I'm going to right click on the top one. Convert a smart object, double click, rename, blur. Let's uncheck the bottom text and go to the blur, go to the filter, blur, Gaussian blur. We're gonna make it blurry. I gotta go with 48, click OK. And now I'm gonna create a rectangle. I gotta select the rectangle tool and I'm gonna create a rectangle like this. And I also gonna make it around it. I gotta pull these little dots. Great. I'm gonna drag the rectangle under the blur layer. I'm gonna press and hold Alt and click in between the blur layer and the rectangle layer. So it's gonna look something like this. I also gonna activate the panther text. And if you're on the rectangle, you can move it and basically it's gonna blur blur out the area where, it's, where you're going to position the rectangle. I'm also going to go back to the blur and I'm going to go to filter, noise, add noise and I'm going to decrease the amount. Actually, I'm going to uncheck the monochrome, increase it a little bit more, click OK. Now I'm going to double click on the panther text and I'm going to go to gradient overlay. I'm going to change the colors, go with purple, click OK and the other one orange. OK, click OK. I got to increase the opacity to maximum and I got to change the angle some around 55. Click OK. And I also going to bring this effect. I'm going to click on the FX, press and hold Alt and drag it into the blur here. Now I got to go and double click on the rectangle and I got to click on the stroke. Make sure to be in sides. I got to go with the size some around four or five and make sure to decrease the opacity and make sure the color is white. I got to go with the opacity some around 45 ish. I got to go to color overlay. Make sure to be white. Click OK. Decrease the opacity. I go with eight. I also going to click on gradient overlay. Click on the gradient. I got to change it to white both sides. And I'm going to click on this pin right here. I'm going to decrease the opacity, the opacity to zero. I'm going to click OK and I'm going to change the angle. The light area is going to be here in the, in the corner. And I'm also going to decrease the opacity a little bit more. I'm also going to go to drop shadow. Whereas the opacity is on 80, somewhere distance is 17. And the size is a little bit bigger. And you also can change the angle. But for me, 90 degrees was pretty nice. I'm going to click OK. And this is how you morph glass in Photoshop on text. Thanks for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. And also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Have a good one. Bye bye. Oh,